Valpona se lim lari, nënd me t'vjeq Nuk e dinë se do t'fitoj Di vetëm që ndihem shumë e knaqë Që jaritat ma pjesë në këtë emision Dhe të ndihik na e sitë dhe Bukurit e këtë spektakli ka ishtë të më rëpërgueshëm Falem dhe I love Albanian women, and today I'm interviewing Valbona Simlin Lari, who was the first Miss Albania after communism. But, can I say, you don't look a day older than when you won the title <laughs> in the first place. So it's something about Albanian women, I think. Uh, your skin, your complexion, the whole thing looks fabulous. Oh, so welcome to ALB much. UK <laughs> Television. Um, Tell me, what was your uh, memories of doing beauty pageants at that time? Hmm. I'll start off saying that it was a very difficult time. For the first time, we didn't know if the people will accept it or not, what they will think. But we were so courageous. And I, I like to say this because all the girls, 25 ladies, we were there, we are courageous. Like, we say, okay, we have to make this change. Let's do it. Yeah. We didn't know how the people we handled that, but they were happy. And this is one of the best pageant. The first time that people liked it and they respect us. And then I've been the lucky one. Respect is a big thing. And obviously feminism at that time was attacking beauty pageants and, and uh, in my memory beauty pageants were changing so did you feel at that time uh, did you have to wear a swimsuit how did uh, how did women feel about 
doing things like that for beauty pensions? In fact, uh, as I told, we didn't accept this reaction, but we were a swim instead. We were like every pageant, like we were dressed like every pageant in Europe, and then everything was acceptable. We didn't have problem at all. No. I know, I mean, pageants have changed these Because, days. you know, yeah. Albanian, they were, they really want the change. Yes. They were, like, they wish the changes. Yeah. And in a way, it was a change. Yeah. These days, uh, I'm sure you know as well, is that pageants and the emphasis of pageants have changed a lot. So it's much more on intelligence. It's much more on uh, doing good things for communities. And that brings me very nicely uh, as well to, you're creating several projects at the moment um, and using your VIP status to actually uh, promote good causes in our pages. Just tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now. Uh, at the moment, um, okay, generally, I love to, to help, like to help people. And sometimes when you have a, a power, if I can say it like that, the help is, you, you can help more. In the moment I'm working for the mayor of Tirana, I'm a, I'm a consulting of a social social department and then there I can do more I can do more I have a mission now it didn't uh, for a while I'll broadcast because I'm, I'm uh, how can I say I'm I'm working on yes and the idea is to to change a little the life of a community yeah. the Rome community I'm yeah. starting from them okay because why? why why that community especially? you know because uh, First, uh, we have a lot of, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but sometimes we don't, we don't respect them in the way they deserve, okay? We judge them more, and then uh, they have problems. They cannot go to, to the schools because when they go to the schools, they say, I ask one and say, why you don't go to the school? You don't like the school? And a little girl, she said, yeah, I do love the school, but when I go there, they, they fight with me, yeah. they judge me, and yeah. I'm not comfortable there. Yeah. And she said, in the road, I'm more comfortable. Of course. And it's something that, you know, it hurts. Of course it does. And we have to change that. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do something, but for sure, I'll change something. That's, that's the, the meaning of the show. I'm yeah. taking them at the schools, yeah. and I'm helping them of uh, the guys when they passed the years of the schools yeah. to I'm um, helping them to have a, a professional school like being being capable on doing something yeah. and then helping them to work and I, I say once I say in one of my 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 interviews then I say okay sometime we think that okay we don't like these people okay just take them away some people, unfortunately, there are some people like that that say, okay, you don't have to love them, even to like them. Because these people, if we don't help them, yeah. tomorrow they, what they will do? They will steal, sure. they will make bad things, yeah. they will be not able to do anything but not good. You sound like, lucky. And you then, sound, sorry. And you then you, you, your life is not saved anymore. Yeah. Because we are making them, at the community, we are making them, Kriminell, but I'm not sure if I do it. 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 But You sound like you are a tremendous fighter for good causes. Have you had sort of personal things at times? Because you are a great beauty. But do you find sometimes beauty gets in the way of what you want to do with your life as well? You know, I never thought I am beauty. I'm beautiful. I do, but, 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 really? but, but uh, it's interesting. <laughs> and I'm, I'm turning back on, uh, on participating in Miss Albania. You know, my friend registered me. I never thought I was beauty enough 
to participate in a competition like that. And I say, no, I don't, I don't go, I don't, I'm not beauty enough. They say, please, you are very nice. I say, no, I don't feel like that. Right. I never felt like, and I always been pushing people, not been pushing people, but by my behaving, I always want the people to respect Valbona as a human being, yeah. as an, for my intelligence, for my doing, for my being, and then after, even my beauty. Yeah. But generally, I don't, uh, I don't think I'm a, um, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> because I, I wonder at times, you know, um, I wonder with female politicians, and there's some very beautiful female politicians working in Albania, and I wonder whether, again, people can't see behind the beauty and, and, and see what I see. You know, their intelligence, their, their capacity to try and change things as well. But when, I mean, your background, did your family um, support what you were doing? And, and did you really, do they s give you the strength to be able to do these types of things today? Did you learn from the feet of your parents? <laughs> I have to turn back <laughs> also. You know, when I, when I got to Miss Albania, my father didn't know anything. Really? Early, early. <laughs> Don't tell me you just appeared suddenly on television. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I felt afraid to say to him. Why? I don't know, because my father is a very, is a, is a very nice man and he oh. always understood when I talked to him. But I don't know why this time I couldn't tell him. Really? Really. And it was a mistake so because what, what it was a mistake. No, <laughs> it was a mistake because he said, I'm so, I'm so, I'm feeling bad that you didn't feel like saying to me <laughs> because I could enjoy it more. Absolutely. Your participation. Anyway, I didn't say, only my mom knew it. And then, uh, okay, I didn't have any problem with him, but only he felt a little sad about that. Were your parents fighters themselves, you know, d uh, d uh, to what we call the underdog, fighting the causes of people who are less fortunate themselves? Is, is it w did you have that type of background, that family background? Mm, I don't have that feeling. No, I don't know. You know, I have two wonderful parents. I'm be lucky because sometimes we don't choose the parents. Sure. They are. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky. I have two wonderful, my mom is a very strong woman and uh, my father is, is a little quiet, but he believes on me. Of course. It's a very, it's a nice thing. He always believes on me. And he said, sometimes when I ask him something, I say, Father, okay, I'm, I'm doing something I, say, I think you know. Why you never say to me anything? He said, because you are capable of choosing yourself. And then sometimes you have to choose by doing yourself, you, the things like you thought about. Yes. And some mistakes in life yeah. makes you <laughs> be stronger. Yeah. And that's okay. You have to make your mistakes. And it was, it was funny in a way. I have my uh, own thoughts on what is the DNA of Albanian women. Ooh, what we are you strong say enough. Precisely, <laughs> what would you say is the, is the DNA of Albanian women? How would you like to, how would you like Albanian women to be seen across the world? Uh, okay, I think that the Albanian women, they are very strong. Sometimes it's not a good thing. When I say it, it's not that I really, okay, I appreciate an, a, uh, a woman with strength, powerful. I am like that, and they are a lot but they suffer sometimes so much and they are strong because the life makes them in this road and I'm sorry about now the things are changing the women are strong not because suffering but because of their choice or because a mo they get mother and I say when you get when you get a mother when you be a mother like having a child your strength come more yes but the, they they have to be strong let's say before they have to be strong because they need to be strong yeah and sometimes a, a lady have to be a lady 
and it, she doesn't need to be a, a strong lady. No. She had to enjoy also the yeah. I, 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 the uh, delicatesse of a, of a lady, let's say. Yeah. <laughs> I, I work with a group called Successful Mothers in London, and I'm very passionate about um, what I see. Now, I see in London or in Britain, uh, Albanian women are sometimes isolated, and that's why the group started in the first place, uh, and they face issues. They face issues that um, I fight. I, I, we had a meeting at ALB UK the other day, and I, put the, I threw this grenade in. I said, I do not want Albanian mothers to be subservient to their husbands, and I will fight that every day of the week. Uh, and part of the process uh, that I've suggested for Albanian mothers at the moment, we're going to create a thing called life chart. And the idea behind life chart is it's going to be a piece of paper with 30 squares on it, which represent the 30 days of the month. And families have then got to choose some of the squares that then allow their mothers time off, not to expect, not the husbands to expect a, a meal on the table or whatever it might be, and that they are supported in return. So, personally, I, I love Albanian mothers. I, I find them immensely strong. They are very strong and they are very, uh, they give everything. Okay, you give everything to a child, but they give everything even to their mans to their families yeah. and they they give more than they have Do in fact sometimes. they give too much at times? They give so, too much at times, yes. I'm thinking this because they enjoy less. They give but they don't they don't get back yeah. enough. And I'm sorry about that. Do you think there's a change uh, in uh, you know y the younger generation like yourself now? Are you uh, fighting back from what was perceived the the really the, the lifestyle of, um, of, of a mother, you know, an Albanian mother? It changed, no, for, for the moment it changed a lot. Okay, the, peop the, the ladies now, they are more powerful. So, how, how would you like Albanian women to be seen across the world now? And, and how do you see the future of Albanian women as well? They're changing, I can see the change myself. You know what, what I think about Albanian women? First, they are, uh, they are like every woman in the world. And I want, I want them to see, I don't want, I don't want, sometimes when they judge them, I feel a little sad. Because knowing an Albanian woman, then you can understand that they are capable, they are strong, they are beautiful, they are uh, human, because sometimes, you know, it's it, being a human and having a good heart, yeah. it's something very value, especially in, in our time. Now we're living when the value of the things are getting lower. Yeah. If I say, I'm so sorry, my English is not, sometimes I don't it, find it, the your, right your word. English is perfect. <laughs> Thank you very I, I'm much. I'm struggling just to learn a few words in Albanian at the moment. So. <laughs> I, I, I am trying to find the right word. Maybe sometime I cannot find the right word because in Albanian I can ex express myself sure. different. But okay, uh, and then they are capable. Absolutely. They can be the same with everybody, every woman in the world. Yeah. Sometime, you know, I respect the ladies, the Albanian ladies more. You know why? Because they love and they are. They love the family and in a way... It's unconditional love, isn't it? And it's, yes, it's unconditional love. Yeah. And then they know how to, how to be in a family like the queen of a family. Absolutely. And your own future, you're obviously, uh, you're coming into television production now, you're working with the Mayor of Tirana. I, 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 I have to admit, I, I really enjoyed my time with him, and, but I think we'll try and do another interview with him before too long as well. Um, what's your personal dreams? My personal dreams? Now uh, I am a mother of three kids. Are you? Goodness, yeah, I wow. <laughs> I, I, uh, I applaud you. Yeah, I have two boys and a, and a beautiful girl. And my dreams are them. What I think now, you know, sometime in life, we don't do the things, we, have, we haven't done the things right. 
And I say, okay, we learn from our mistakes and things like that, and then we'll happen the same thing with the kids. But the only thing I don't want to make mistakes are on them. What advice like, do you give to your daughter? First, the first thing I've learned to them from the beginning of their life is to be honest, to love, and, and to value the things for the p power they have. It's one of the things that I talk to them every day, every day of their life. I, I want them to be human, to have a big heart, and to have personality, and to be strong, because in the life you have to be strong enough, and to believe on their self. Self-confidence is something that I really want them to, to have it with a lot of power. Because being self-confident, then the things are good. They, they, they be different. So knowing what you know today, what, what advice would you be giving to your 16-year-old self? What advice can I give to, to me, you say? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see? Do you it's, see it's a, a tremendous? Question, like, do you see a tremendous change in yourself? Are you proud of yourself? In a way, yes. In a way, yes. I am. Okay, I'm so modest in life, and I have some friends that say, "Okay, enough with your modesty." Okay, enough. Sometimes you have to say things. Generally, I know who I am, and what I say to myself is that I have been, I have, I'm a good person. It's something that now, all, on this age I have, I know, I'm a good person. Yeah. And I'm proud, okay, in a way, yes, I'm proud of myself. And I wish my kids are proud of me. Yeah. I think so, but... Do you find it again, uh, I mean, these days, being a working mother, um, we get lots of women in London sort of saying, how do you create the balance? How do you create the balance between a work life and, and still being a mother at the same time? You know, as uh, my, amb my ambitions, that say are a little not so high. And I always get the work enough to have time for my kids, okay? I never get more than I, I, could, I could handle because I don't want to touch the time of having with my kids. Like I do the work and then in afternoon I'm, I'm quite always with them. I do my work in the, okay, there are some work that they need a little more, but really I didn't get so much work for, uh, for losing the time with them. And I can handle because I do have the time for them. And nobody can touch this time because it's their time. If I had a magic wand and, and I could say to you, I can make anything come true in your life, what would that be? You know, the only thing that I, I please to the guy, to the God, sometime is to be, to have health, to be healthy. Because everything after that, uh, working, you can have, you can have everything you want if you are capable. You learn, you are strong enough, you can do everything. But the health is something that we don't, we don't have it in our hand. Absolutely. That's the only thing I, I say, God, please, I want health for my kids. The other thing I can enter them. And work on the horizon. Um, obviously, you'll be working with the Mayor Tirana. Uh, you're working on your documentaries. Are there other documentaries that you're looking at uh, doing now? What, what type of ideas have you got for the future? Uh, uh, this program, uh, this mission I'm doing, because I don't, I don't call it a program or a show, because it's not a show, it's a mission. Like it's a mission to, ma to make some lives better than they are. That's my mission and my group mission. Also with the mayor of Tirana that is so sensitive on helping people, my, my uh, mission is getting more powerful, let's say. I'm, I'm glad I'm working with him, not because he's the mayor, but because I know the guy when he was a little boy. He was always ambitious and always he, he wanted to, to work hard. Yeah. And then 
maybe if it was another mayor, I'll never work for. <laughs> That's here. I believe on him and working with him every day. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding every day that he's the right person. Does he inspire you? He's inspired everybody who works for him. But sometimes I, I do the same for, not for him, because <laughs> okay, he's enough uh, capable. But let's say that they are, you know, we will be in some time, don't believe so much in our politics, okay? And thinking, leaving Albania is one of the things that we thought about many times. But now I'm not thinking so much of leaving. Even I wish I will never thought about because I love Albania and I'm homesick. If I go some, sometime out of Albania, when I turn, it's like I miss also the roads. I, I miss everything. I miss yeah. the air. Yeah. And it's interesting. But now the things are getting better. Our politics, they have their problems. I wish they could be more together. And I don't understand why they have to fight so much. Uh, uh, I don't uh, yeah. even understand and I don't want even think about because I'm not a politician and I cannot yeah. maybe sometime understand. But as a people say, why? They don't col collaborate. Maybe tomorrow we can select them. Why what? they have to fight so much and yeah. why they, they don't think about us? What do you think about the female politicians in this country? In Albania? Oh. Well, the, fem the female, I know, some of them, they are, I'm, I'm happy that they are in these positions because they are working hard and they are doing this, the, the right thing. I cannot say for everybody of them, I'm so sorry about that, but uh, I don't understand why. Maybe they have a reason. I, I always <laughs> say, because you know, I, I talk about politics around the world, and I always say if, if there were more female politicians, the world would be a better place. Because they are more sensitive, and they are, they are I, I, you know, when I say they are mothers, because a mother is different. They think different, they feel different, and they are more powerful. And I think, yes, if they have more ladies in, the, in a politician, it will be a better word. Absolutely. <laughs> and on that, Valbena, you are a tremendous <laughs> Albanian woman and in womanhood as well. So thank you so much for doing an interview with ALB UK TV today. Thank you for your time. No, thank you very much. Thank you. And um, I had to excuse myself for my English. I try to express myself in a right way. But anyway, I hope you understand what I say. <laughs> it was marvelous. Thank you.